grand old partisan, celebrates more than 17 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Harry White, born near Pittsburgh, January 13, 1834. Graduating from Princeton, he returned home to practice law. Age 22, the son of abolitionists joined the newborn Republican Party and became his county's first GOP chairman. He campaigned effectively for presidential nominee John Fremont that year. In 1860, he declined nomination to Congress in favor of a more prominent candidate with a better chance to win. During the Civil War, a Republican governor commissioned him captain in the 67th Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry. Without his knowledge, the PA GOP nominated Major White for the state Senate, and he was elected. The Army gave him leave to attend legislative sessions. His salary he donated to the local soldiers' relief fund. White was captured as his regiment fought to delay the Confederate advance toward Gettysburg. He escaped with assistance from slaves. Colonel White again served in the state Senate, rising to Speaker. He contested for the 1872 gubernatorial nomination. In 1876, he won the first of two terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. Two decades thereafter, he was a state judge. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.